I begin this way because Christian marriage is really about change. And it's about enabling the other to explore and to choose new paths and to change. It's about supporting your partner in whatever venture takes them towards the happiness which they seek. There you go, <laughs> to the front and through. Oh, hold up, hold up. Save it, save it. Boy, Fred. And forgiveness is a great and important part of married life. It's important that one or the other who is faulted ask for forgiveness and receive forgiveness. That's the way marriages operate and marriages move forward. <laughs> now what do we do? You're still looking at me, just talk to each other. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, dude? Not good. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Can you hold that with a picture of me? Thank you. One of the things that uh, Sydney and Colton and I talked about very briefly was the fact that in Greek, which is the language of the New Testament, there are four different words for love. But the word which Jesus uses for the most part is a love which sacrifices. And of course, we know what Jesus did, how he sacrificed himself. But I think that's part of the marriage covenant as well, to put the needs and the desires, the dreams of the other above your own. The Lord God comes to us. The Lord God is the one that unites them. He is the one that brings them together, will keep them together, has established his covenant with them. He will be a part of their lives now and forever. Now that Colton and Sydney have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I now pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Sydney is my no questions asked friend. If I tell her I need her, no questions asked, she will show up. She's a fierce and loyal friend and I know that she will be a fierce and loyal wife. Colton, I knew things were different with you when Sydney drug you to the lake to hang out with my family. I'm not sure if you know this or not, but that was a test and I think you passed. Sydney has told me that Colton and I are similar in a lot of ways, and that's how I know she'll be able to put up with his crap for a long time. 
And Colton, when you're frustrated with her for nagging about you leaving the dishes on the counter, just remember how hot she looked in her wedding dress. <laughs> so let's raise a glass to the newlyweds. May your love burn bright for years to come. Here's to my best friend and her new best friend. Cheers. you do 